Hi y'all, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a lens glare text effect. So without much ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have this metallic uh, rusty background on which I'm going to apply my text. But before I do that, I want to add another layer of a black effect. So I'm going to click on my plus icon to add a new layer with my foreground as black. I'm going to pick up my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the opacity. So we have something like this and I'm going to go ahead and select my text tool. I'm going to click inside my text. My text size is too small, so I'm going to increase that to so. And I'm going to flip my color to white, and I'm going to type in blazer. And then with my move tool, I'm going to go ahead and rescale to the size that I want. And then I'm going to set it in the center just like this. So the first thing that we want to do is to highlight our text and then we're going to change the color to red or whatever color that you want. So with this set for us, the next thing you want to do is to make a duplicate of your text. We're going to turn off the lower text and then with this text, what we want to do is to convert it into a smart object. So to do that, you want to right click and then click on convert to a shape. I'm sorry. We want to convert to a shape. And then you want to take the fill all the way to zero. Everything disappears, but it's still there. To be able to see this, you want to click on your arrow, which selects your shape, and then you go up to the top and we want to go ahead and add a stroke effect. We're going to choose a white and then I'm going to add a pixel of, let's say 10. I'm going to click enter and you notice that we get an outline stroke. The other thing I want to do is to go and change my uh, alignment in terms of where I want my stroke. Now my stroke effect is showing on the inside of my text. I want it on the outside. So I'm going to click on the very last one. And then I also want to make sure I have what sharp corners. So you want to make sure you click on sharp corners instead of round edge. And I like the way my alignment looks. You can also do the inside so you get, you know, um, the stroke effect happening from almost midway of the exterior of your text. With this text effect, what we want to do is to go ahead and turn on the other text. So the next thing you want to do is to convert your layer into a smart object. Notice that the first time we converted it into a shape. Now, once you convert into a smart object, you can add different effect. But note that the moment you change your text to either a shape or a smart object, you cannot edit that text any longer. So now that we have our stroke effect on our text, we are going to uh, double click on our stroke effect. Now we want to add two styles. We want to first of all add um, a gradient overlay and I'm going to double click on this so you see. So I added almost like a metallic gradient effect and you can recreate, you can, and you can create this yourself or if you already have the metallic precept, you can use it. So if I double click on this, you realize that this is the gradient effect I have. And guys, I make this up. Basically, you double click, you hold down your command and you duplicate your stops. You change the colors to whatever gradient effect style you want to achieve. If you want a metallic look, you want to 
stay in the colors of black, grays, and white. And you just move your stops all around till you get the desired effect. If you already have a precept, you can use that precept as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. The next thing we want to add is a drop shadow. So I'm going to click on my drop shadow. I just love this effect. It gives it a very 3D depth effect and it makes the text come to life. So I'm going to click inside my drop shadow so you can see the different options that I use under my drop shadow. So you realize that my opacity is at 100, my blend mode is on normal, and my distance is 8, spread is 3, size 9. You can change it to whatever you want. So with this set, I'm going to click OK. So now that we have this, I want to add a gradient effect on my text. So I'm going to click on my original text, which is the red, and I want to add a new layer on top. And then I'm going to use my marquee tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle right around it like this. And I'm going to pick up my gradient tool. I want to make sure that my gradient is from solid to transparent. And you will also want to make sure that you have your foreground as black. And I'm just going to draw just this gradient effect this way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down my alt and I'm going to clip that to my text. And notice that I have that gradient layer right on top of my text um, layer. I'm going to press command D to deselect. I want to add a little bit of a shadow effect on the background of our text. So it's off the wall. So I'm going to double click on my text and then add a drop shadow effect. I'm going to double click inside and I'm going to increase my size and I'm going to also increase my spread and my distance. I'm going to do something like this. So notice that I have my distance at 30, my spread at 18 and size at 32. Opacity is at 100, blend mode is normal. I'm gonna click OK. So we have this cool effect. The last thing we want to do is to add the glare effect to our text. So what we are going to do, you wanna click on your top layer and you want to click on the plus icon to add a new layer. You want your foreground to be black. We are going to click on it. Go to filter under render. We want to choose lens glare. We want this effect, which is the movie prime. And I am going to leave it at 100. I'm going to click OK. Now, the last thing you want to do is change the blend mode to screen. We are just going to move that to somewhere here. We are going to create a duplicate and we are going to move that here. So we have this cool effect. If you want to go ahead and add a bit more of a glare effect, we can use another glare option. So we are going to add a new layer, repeat the same step by adding um, black, go to filter, render and then glare but this time we want to choose the top this time we want to choose the top one and we are going to center this and then we are going to click OK we are going to move change the blend mode to screen and we are going to use our move tool holding down my shift I'm going to make this flat and I'm going to move it and set it somewhere here on top of my text. So we have this effect. Now, if we want almost like a blue-ish effect, so we're going to go to images, adjustment, and you want to choose saturation. And this is the place you can begin to change your color. So if you want a green, you can have that green effect. If you want a blue, you can have sort of a blue-ish effect on your 
um, your glare. So we can do something like this. I love this. I'm going to click OK. And we can make a duplicate. And we can move that somewhere here. We can do one more duplicate. And we can actually rotate this this way. And I can set that somewhere. Let's say here. So guys, this is it. This brings us to the end of another fun tutorial. So if you're new to this channel, please take a minute, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. So until Tuesday, y'all have a great and fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye.